Hey guys, it's Liz and today we're going to be doing something very exciting. So we are going to build our, um, well basically build a flow using Microsoft Power Automate to automate um, a tweet of your posted YouTube video. So how I first thought of this is I was messing around with this software and recently I've been thinking, oh, I haven't really been posting on my Twitter. Like I made my Twitter for my YouTube account, but like I don't have time to like tweet out the video. So I'm just like, maybe I could hire like a marketing manager at some point, but I was just like, you know, thinking about these things. And then I was well, at work, um, we were using Microsoft Power Automate and in my process of learning this software, um, I came across a template that literally does this for me. And I thought it was really cool, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. And it requires zero code, which that is the coolest part about this freaking software. So here you can see I'm in Power Automate, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to sign in. Um, you can kind of see my, my stuff in the corner there. And um, you're gonna sign in using a work email or a school email, and then you're gonna come in here and search templates because somebody has already made this. So I could make this from scratch and that's how originally I was doing things. And then I realized, you know, there's a ton of like already made templates. So I'm just gonna type in like tweet YouTube because that's what I'm trying to do, right? And I clicked on this one where it's share YouTube video on Twitter. So I'm like, okay, cool, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then here it says share YouTube video on Twitter. It shows you, you know, when you upload to YouTube, share your video on Twitter via Twitter. You can customize your tweet message. So this was really cool. So what I did is I signed into your YouTube. So you can see how these have checks. And when you first start, they won't have checks. So you're gonna have to sign into both. And it's really easy. It just pops up and you type in your password for both. And then you go ahead and you press continue and it will bring you to, and I already built this, so I don't want to press that. But when you finish it, it will look something like this. So it'll bring you to the flow. And so it says, when I upload a video, and then it says no additional information needed. So I'm like, perfect, that's it. It already codes it for you, but you can't do it by hand. So if you look in here and you press peak code, this is the JSON, um, which is JavaScript, um, basically a JavaScript oriented notation, something like that. So JSON is in here and basically all it does is it tells you your um, variables, basically. It's, it's very easy to read. It's like interval equals three, you know, like frequency minute, you know, it's, it's not like a, it's not like a hard language to read, it's just formatting it. So go ahead and press done cool, it automatically knows when you upload a video, so that's really nice. And then post a tweet. So I have tweet text, and this was empty. And what you can do is I've put in just new videos up, and then you can put in dynamic content, which basically means like, depending on what video you upload, this will change. So I chose the, the list video web link and video list uh, summary title, you could do the video ID, I don't know why you would want to do that, or the time it was published, which you don't really need any of that. Um, and then you can put in media, add dynamic content, click however you want it to look, um, and then uh, it will automatically tweet it out for you. But it's really cool because this media will change. Uh, you can also do expressions here, like if you wanted to calculate something, I don't know what the heck you'd want to calculate, but you can also embed that. Um, and then you just save it and you do the flow checker here and it says zero arrows zero warnings cool and then you can do a test i did um, a manual test and then you can just test by uploading a video or whatever you want to do the cool thing was i posted a video that day so it came up let's see if i can get to twitter right now um and show you guys what the tweet looks like based on this flow but you can kind of tell like this is a very cool automated process where I didn't have to code anything uh, and I love that. I mean I do love coding, don't get me wrong, like you see me on the YouTube channel. So let me go to my profile and show you what the tweet looks like here. So right here it says new video is up and then here's the name of my video and then here is the content. Now it's been retweeted six times. 
I actually know why it is because in the tutorial I was watching to make this work, um, people are retreating Power Automate because it was one of the, the tasks. So it's kind of funny because you have a bunch of bots that accidentally retweeted my video. But whatever, I don't care. Uh, so there it is. How easy and simple is that? So, and then you can go back to um, your flows. This is kind of some information on your flows. You can see I already tested it, right? It says the date I tested. You can go in here and look at exactly what the variable variables were when I tested this. So I think I tested this a day and a half ago or two days ago. And what's cool is it will show you the actual data and then you can retest it with more if you want. Um, I don't know why this is taking so dang long to, to open, but whatever, not a huge deal. It's just gonna show you the data that was tested or whatever, but you already saw that it worked as you can see it right here. So I'm pretty excited, but I'm super happy about this automation. And now I'm like wondering what other templates are out there that I could automate. Like the possibilities are endless because there are so many connectors, like YouTube is a connector, Twitter is a connector, and you can do so many cool things with it that I'm just, just very excited to dive deeper into it. So, um, and the class that I'm taking is on Udemy. I will link it in the description below because it's a really cool class and I'm hoping to get my certificate um, sometime this weekend. Uh, and yes, so I hope this helps you guys and I hope this inspires you guys to make your own flows. You can always share them with people and add different connectors. So super excited and I will see you guys next time.